my your nan she lived two doors down at number 13 and when they were courting and dad lived in this house with his sister and her family and um so when dad heard the gate go and mum coming down the garden path he would jump on the piano which was in the corner of the lounge an old black little upright piano nothing special and start playing I'll buy that dream I can just imagine mum's face as she came in I bet she absolutely loved it I remember mum just when they used to go out um, in the evenings or any any time to be honest she always put his clean clothes on the bed he never had to look in the wardrobe to see what to wear because my mum told him what to wear but it never ever worried him but she would always lean, leave clean socks for him because he would never change his socks he never had smelly feet he just could wear them for months and he would just keep on with it so my mum would force him to change his socks Fortunately, he did change his socks. <laughs> Try and think of some of the countries Mum Dad went to. Kenya, Hawaii. America, uh, Caribbean, several, several places in the Far East, so Thailand, Malaysia. They absolutely loved it there. Um, Bali. Dad had his first ski lesson at the age of 65. Um, we all went skiing and clearly we've done France, Germany, Belgium, Holland, mum and dad went to Italy, um, I don't know, anywhere in Europe they've been, all the Greek islands, Spanish islands, Malta, Cyprus, Cyprus was quite a favourite, um, but that was in later years. Do you remember how everywhere we went mum was always worried about her hair? So quite often there are photos of mum wearing silly hats or plastic bags on her head to stop her hair getting wet so she didn't have to do it again. Like that. And it's just my favourite picture, the t pair of them. Dad's got a towel round his shoulders mum, and a plastic bag on his head. Mum's got this um, bag that belonged with the beach towels in put into the plastic bit on the, bit on the outside so she had it on her head and um, they were just running along this path laughing their heads off so yeah they, they did really enjoy themselves when they did the only thing I can think of is when we lost me dad as Kay said mum was such a strong person we lost me dad and it was like before she did all the, the bills, the organising, the everything. She did absolutely everything like that. My dad was just the doer. Um, not that he wasn't clever enough to, but that's the role that mum did. And we lost my dad and she just lost it totally. She could never stop crying because she missed him so much. And um, just she just lost the the strength of being able to do things she would ask us you know how, how did she do this piece of paperwork or that and it was like mum what's the matter with you you would have done it all before but when she lost dad she lost half of herself I think and um she never really ever got it back and all we're hoping is that they're together now I thought today I had to in finishing off and handing in the keys that I had to say goodbye but I don't I don't have to do that yet and although this place means so much to us it is a thing and the important thing was mum and dad not not the house and everything and another thing while I'm here Auntie Pat said to me, not so long ago really, that Dad always loved the bones off Mum. And I kind of like that. Imagine me with my head on your shoulder And you with your lips getting bolder A sky full of moon and a sweet mellow tune Ah, by that dream, imagine me in a gown white and flowery and you thanking dad for my dowry a church full of folks and those last minute jokes